The curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir as the players take their places for the opening act. Will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton? Well, we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Let's talk briefly about Lando Norris. They're still relatively new to a sport which does have a high learning curve and, of course, little tolerance for mistakes. That's right, it is a difficult environment to come into. In junior categories, you're competing against drivers with similar levels of experience. But some of these guys in Formula One have been there for over a decade. But I have to say, in this case, it's so far so good. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Bailey completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas and Verstappen, Gasly, Magnussen, Butler and Sergio Perez, Sainz, Grosjean, Daniel Ricciardo and Stroll. Norris, Raikkonen, Lucas Faber and Nico Hülkenberg, Albon and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy into them and warm the tyres as well, please.
job. You've done everything we wanted today. Brilliant stuff from Alfa Romeo today. What a superb victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. So here they come now, out onto the podium. It's thrilling to see this team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams in the sport and come out on top. What a superb victory from the Alfa Romeo team. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Not the result our points leader wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Nico Hülkenberg's clean driving throughout the event. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? Well, looks like your luck has changed. Things went a lot better than last weekend, didn't they? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? Great, well that's everything. Great work this weekend. It was fantastic to see you up on that podium.